In this video, I'm going to show you how you can host your HTML website. And by the HTML, I mean you can also include other uh, interactive features that are enabled with JavaScript and CSS. You will not be able to run any other type of website using this demonstration. Please don't upload your PHP, Node.js and Python and all other types of websites using this process because it's not going to work. If you need to host a, a Node.js website, you can still use this server that I'm going to show you now that is called Firebase server, but the process is a bit different. So this process that I'm going to take you through right now is just for hosting static websites. And by static, I mean you can only include JavaScript, CSS and HTML in that website for it to run the way it's supposed to run. Uh, if you need to learn how you can host a PHP website, I have left a link on the description that explain how you can host a simple application that uses PHP as the server on another platform that is called Heroku, not on Firebase. This particular session, I'm going to show you how you can host HTML on Firebase. And we are going to get started by looking for a template. We, we are going to search free HTML templates and we are just going to open the first one. I think I will go by this. This is how the website looks like. So we are going to download this website. We are not going to even edit it because it's just for the purpose of learning. So I'm going to download it. And I'm going to save it on the desktop and I'm create a folder called uh, Firebase demo and paste the website. Uh, when you download, it's going to go to your downloads, copy and paste it in a folder. So I'm going to extract it. If you don't have a file extraction program, you can download 7-zip, it's free. So I'm going to extract all the contents here and then we delete the, the other one. So this is the website that we are going to host. If I can use Visual Studio Code to view the contents, let me open it. Uh, then I'm going to go to File, Open Folder, Desktop, uh, Firebase Demo, then Better Clean. That is what we have downloaded. Let's close this. If you can go to this folder and just open this HTML page, it's going to show us the how the website looks like. We are going to upload this particular website on Firebeast hosting to make sure that everything is working as expected. As you can see, uh, it's a very nice website and what we need to do is just to edit and make a few changes for this to become a live website. But before we get there, let's uh, do the basics. Uh, open a new terminal and make sure that this terminal is pointing to where the website is saved. Then we are going to go to Firebase and we are going to get started. Uh, we are going to create a project. We are going to call this project beta-media. Uh, accept the terms and then we continue. Um, I'm going to leave everything as it is and then continue. Uh, this one you can just leave it as it. You don't have to change anything. It's still going to work. And then we are going to give it some time to create the project. I'm going to pause the video and then come back after the project is created. The project has been created successfully. So I just need to click on continue and give it some time to configure the defaults. Uh, from here, we are going to select the kind of project or the app that you want to create and we are creating for the web. As you can see, you can create for iOS, Android, web and even for Unity. So we are going to select for web and we need to select 
uh, this particular purpose because we are doing Firebase hosting and then we can give it any name my app my app and then we are going to register I forgot to tell you that to access Firebase you need to go to console.firebase.google.com or you can search for Firebase from Google uh, we are not going to use this method we are going to use this CLI method so what you need to do first is to install the Firebase tools on our desktop and we are going to copy this on our PC you are going to come to terminal new terminal make sure you are pointing to where the website is and then we paste this npm install hyphen global firebase tools and then enter give it some time to install the firebase tools as it installs because it's going to take a few minutes uh, we can come here and look for the next step which is here uh, after this is complete you are going to log in and then we are going to init it's very straightforward so after this we are going to log in we are going to uh, init and we are going to deploy after that let's wait and see what happens so I'm going to pause the video and just come back when this process is completed uh, we have initialized firebase tools successfully then we need to log in firebase login enter and give it some time to log in so it's going to open for us a browser where we can log in uh, we need to log out because as you can see i'm logged on firebase log log out because the google account that i'm using is not the one that i'm using for this session so i'm going to log out and then log in again so now i can log in firebase log in uh, it's going to take me to a browser where I can log in. Do you want to log in? Yes. Uh, allow. And then I'm going to use this to log in. Allow again. As you can see, a Firebase CLI login was successful. And now I'm logged in to use the command line here. If you go here, you will see that I've been logged on. I'm going to now do the next step, which is Firebase init and this process is going to create some json firebase.json files here that have the settings for our website uh, do you want to proceed yes these are some of the services that are offered by firebase this is the database firestore functions uh, storage emulators and remote config we are interested in hosting so you can move with down arrow and when you get to hosting you press the space bar for this to be selected and once this is complete you press enter to continue uh, in case you want to host a node.js website you use functions firebase only supports static hosting and node.js websites let's continue use an existing project yes remember we created an, a project we only have one project so we are going to select it what do you want to use as your public directory public enter if you type anything here the hosting will not work because whatever you type is where your files will be placed so always make sure that you don't type anything here you just enter that step is a bit confusing so i need to explain it a bit further so that you don't get confused because this is the step that is going to give you problems if you don't understand it in a better way this directory that is called firebase demo is the one that you are working from and it's the directory where we are saving uh, the changes that we are working on using visual studio code and you can see the firebase.json file that we said is going to have our settings and git ignore that is going to put uh, the files that we don't want to share all the ones that you don't want to upload to our server this is the public file that we have just created now when we pressed enter without putting anything 
this is what you need to understand you need to put your template and this is the template that we downloaded from online you need to copy these contents here if i may do that now and paste all of them inside the public directory that is inside the directory that we are working on and replace any file that is inside there that conflicts with what you are pasting if you don't do that you are going to get a different website from what we are working on i hope that is clear before we can go to the next step uh, we are not going to configure it as a single page application you do this when you are hosting a react vue.js or angular application and other frameworks that is when you use a single page application but for now we are not going to do that so we are going to type no we are not going to use github for now i'm going to clear our console by typing the word clear at this point in time now we can deploy our website type firebase deploy enter give it some time to deploy it's a process that doesn't take so long if your internet speed is fast enough it's going to take less than one minute to complete the process I think it's it's complete control click to open and let's see whether our website has been hosted as you can see our website is now online and we are using betamedia.web.app domain name the next step that you can take is to come to the public dot this public folder go to index and if you are a developer now you just start to change your website to so that it can meet your purpose this uh, session is not for that if you want to know how to be able to edit this you need to learn about html css and javascript so that you know how to create that website that is going to look like this or how you can be able to edit this to meet your needs i hope this video was informative to you Let's catch up in another video.